Hypothyroidism is when you have a low metabolic rate. This happens because of hypoactive thyroid gland. Now, the reason this might happen is because of something called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune condition that leads to hyperthyroidism and then leads to the destruction of the thyroid tissue, eventually leading to hypothyroidism. But it can also be caused because of radioactive iodine therapy and a thyroidectomy. Now, the lab that you're going to see is a decrease in T3 and T4, the thyroid hormones. This is because the thyroid gland isn't working as well, and it's going to make less thyroid hormones. You're also going to see an elevated TSH, thyroid stimulating hormones. The reason TSH is high is because T3 and T4 are low. Whenever T3 and T4 are low, the body releases something called thyroid stimulating hormone in order to make more T3 and T4. So in hypothyroidism, the body notices that there's not a lot of T3 and T4, so it's always secreting TSH so that it can make more T3 and T4. However, the thyroid gland isn't working anymore and it doesn't make any more T3 and T4. You'll also see an elevated LDL. This is low density lipoprotein and it's a bad type of fat. The reason this goes up is because your metabolism rate is low. So it's almost like you never exercise. Your fat and cholesterol levels go up. So the signs and symptoms are gonna be very similar to that. You wanna think of a patient with hypothyroidism as a couch potato. So they're always cold. They don't like being in the cold. They can never exercise because they're always short of breath. They're always tired. They're always sleepy, which another way of saying sleepy is lethargic and somnolence. Their heart rate is really slow. Their skin is pale and dry and they gain weight. They're also never hungry and never pooping. Now, I don't mean never. It just means that their appetite is decreased. Their bowels are decreased, so they have decreased peristalsis. It doesn't move as much. And their bowel sounds are decreased too. When you put your stethoscope, you may not hear as many clicks and gurgles. They can also have very bad constipation because their bowels aren't moving. They also have body changes that happen. They get edema, specifically periorbital, which means around the eyes. There's puffiness. Sometimes this is called mixed edema. They also get anemia because there's a decrease in oxygen demand in the body. So the body makes less red blood cells. The patient can also have coarse hair and they can start losing it too. And they can have brittle nails and hoarseness, which means raspy voice. Now, the nursing interventions that you want to do for this patient is to keep them warm. So you want to give them blankets, but not electric blankets because they can burn themselves. You also want to avoid sedatives like opioids and benzodiazepines. You also want to teach them to exercise so they can lose weight. And for nutrition, you tell them to eat a nutritious, low-calorie diet. Now, there's a complication that can happen with hypothyroidism. It's called mixed edema coma, and this is an emergency. It's usually triggered by opioids, infection, or being cold. The sign and symptoms are the same as hypothyroidism, only worse. So severe hypotension, severe bradycardia, and severe hypothermia. They also breathe a lot less, so much that they can even go into a coma. The treatment is going to be IV thyroid hormone. It's important we give all meds IV to this patient because their bowels aren't moving anymore. So the thyroid hormone is actually called levothyroxine. This will increase the T3 and T4 in the patient's body. The side effect of this is going to be hyperthyroidism. So make sure you monitor for tachycardia and insomnia. This drug also increases the effectiveness of anticoagulants. How you know this drug works is if the patient's temperature is within normal limits. You want to make sure you teach the patient to take this drug in the morning before meals. You also want to teach them that they'll be on this drug for life. You also tell them that they can't switch brands. So this is the one time you should know the brand name for a drug. It's called Synthroid. The last thing you need to teach them is that they're going to have to have a lot of follow-ups. This is to check T3, T4, and TSH so we know the drug is working. That's everything you need for hypothyroidism.